There's never been a borough named for a more beautiful woman. Frederica Bass, whose nickname was Zeely, was the daughter of Baron Friedrich Wilhelm Detmar Bass, the founder of Zeely and Opel. Upon arriving on these shores in 1802, he purchased 10,000 acres of land in southwestern Pennsylvania and laid out the town of Zelianople. The Baron's daughter, Zeely, and her new husband, Philippe Louis Passevant, opened a general store on Main Street and continued it with great success for many years. Another German pioneer, Christian Buell, also chose to make Zelianople his home. Buell was a trapper and furrier who gave up the trapping life to start a new business as the town hatter. Eventually, Buell became a judge and, working with the Passevons, helped establish the first schools and churches in the community. Down through history, the names Buell and Passevon are often heard in connection with successful businesses, public office, and nonprofit organizations. William Passevon, the youngest son of Zeely and Philippe, was a Lutheran minister and founded several residential homes for seniors and orphans. One of these, the Orphan's Home and Farm School, which opened in 1852, remains in operation today as Glade Run. Glade Run is a non-sectarian social service agency serving over 1,400 children, individuals, and families with a variety of services. Other descendants of Zeely and Philippe were responsible for establishing a home for senior citizens. It was called the Old People's Home when it opened in 1908. A century later, in acknowledgement of the many contributions of the Passivant family, the home is now called the Passivant Retirement Community. Zelianople was chartered as a borough in 1840. Townspeople felt that a governing body needed to take charge of the major issues facing residents. In the mid-19th century, those issues included pigs running loose in the street and clearing mud off unpaved roads. But the borough council also saw to the establishment of water, sewer, and electric services. Ten years after the borough was created, local citizens formed a volunteer fire company. It's been operated by faithful volunteers ever since. The faithful men and women in blue of the Zelianople Police Department serve the community and the nearby borough of Harmony. Since Zelianople has a low crime rate, the department focuses its work on youth programs like bicycle safety training and DARE, a drug awareness program. Just 30 miles north of Pittsburgh, Zelianople has long been known as a crossroads community. Many travelers, first by horse, then by trolley and train, and finally by car, have stopped by this friendly borough on their way east or west, north or south. This is the place where visitors have found lodging or a good meal over the years, the famous Kaufman House. On this site there has been a tavern or restaurant since 1810. The present day facility has four dining rooms, a coffee shop, and lounge. Yet another feature of Zelianople is its manufacturing facility. Bilko Manufacturing, a glass equipment company, was founded in the early 1900s in Pittsburgh. In the 1940s, the company shifted its operations to the borough, where today they employ more than 125 people. Now well into its third century, Zelianople is a thriving community of 4,100 residents in the metro Pittsburgh area. With its history of philanthropy and civic projects, and its beautiful old homes nestled next to a lively business district, Zelianople is truly a modern place with old-fashioned grace. <laughs>